So in 2002, I was commissioned by the Heartland Shakespeare Festival uh, to write a work uh, commemorating an anniversary of theirs. And I asked Charles Anthony Silvestri, my dear friend and my favorite living poet, to collaborate with me. Since it was a Shakespearean festival, we decided that Tony would write a 14-line Shakespearean sonnet. And I didn't have anything that I wanted in the poem specifically, except it had to end with the words, long live fair Oriana. Uh, it, this, this was a, a tribute to Elizabeth I, and many composers had set those very words to her while she was alive uh, in tribute. And so Tony worked and worked and worked, and he couldn't figure out a way to end this poem uh, with these lines. So what he did was build into the, f the first line of, ev of, of the poem, the first sentence of each poem spells out an acrostic, Hail, Fair Oriana. And then I tag on at the end, Long Live Fair Oriana, to the end of this exquisite 14-line Shakespearean sonnet that he wrote. In terms of the structure of the piece, my idea was... Uh, inspired by the first line of the poem, her sacred spirit soars or gilded spires. And in my mind, I saw these two towers this way, standing like this. And so I set double chorus, one chorus singing this hymn, and another one following exactly the same musical material, but a measure later, so that it creates this smear, as if you're taking paint on the canvas and just smearing it like this. Um, and that's it, her sacred spirit soars. <laughs>